Hello, everybody. This is Charlie Jones along with Lynn Dawson. We're live from Giant Stadium. It's the Oakland Raiders against the New York Giants. The Giants winning the toss. They, of course, will be receiving as Chris Byer will be kicking off for the Oakland Raiders. Beasley Reese is the deep back on the kickoff return for the Giants. He takes it two yards deep. Reese to the 10. Reese is to the 15. And is decked at the 19-yard line, 21 yards on the return. Rich Martini of the Oakland Raiders is the man who made the tackle. Let's look at the offense for the Giants. With the rookie, Scott Bruner, the quarterback, Taylor and Perry, the running backs. The receivers are Pittman, Gray, the tight end is Gary Shirt. And Lynn, that offensive the line. The offensive line is headed by their center, number 56, Jim Black. Defensively for the Oakland Raiders, they employ a 3-4 defense. We're going to see several defensive linemen in the ball game at different times. Ernest Gray comes wide to the near side. He has 10 touchdowns receiving. The give is to Leon Perry. And Perry goes from the 19 to the 27-yard line. He picks up a quick eight. It'll be second down and two. Let's look at that Raider defense. Number 72, Big John Matuzak is the left end. Nose guard is Ken Claw. Dave Browning is the right end, but you'll see different defensive people in there. The linebacking core, they employ a 3-4. Number 83, Ted Hendricks, is having, I think, the best year of his career. And Lester Hayes, number 37, leads all interceptors with 12 on the year so far. Second down and a couple. Billy Taylor gets the call. He has the first down. 34-yard line, seven yards. First down as John Matuzak and Burgess Owens make the tackle. So the Giants open up on the ground with Leon Berry and now Billy Taylor. Number 55, Matt Millen, inside left linebacker. He's the man that's going to come in to try to make the play. He doesn't on that occasion. Now, bear this in mind, in the AFC, Oakland leads defensively against the rush. They've had a problem defending against the pass. Right away, the Giants have gone to work on it. Billy Taylor, fumble. Scooping it up is Mike Davis, and Davis goes out of bounds. Mike Davis with the fumble recovery for the Oakland Raiders, and we have the first turnover of the ball game. Last week, Oakland forced four turnovers, three interceptions and a fumble, and they've got the fumble and excellent field position. Let's look at their offensive backfield as you see the end of the play with Davis picking it up. Man, the charge that ball loose was 83, the stork, Ted Hendricks. I was just talking about what a great year he's having. New York 33 yard line first down, and there is Mike Davis. He is their leading tackler for the Oakland Raiders from Colorado in his third year, number two draft choice. First down, Oakland. Mark Van Egan gets the call, and the defense is there, led by the nose tackle, Phil Tabor. We'll give him a yard to the 32. It'll be second down and nine. Jim Plunkett at quarterback with Whittington and Van Egan, the two running backs. Wide receivers and their excellent branch, Chandler and Chester. The offensive line is also excellent. Art Shell is not 58, but his number is 78. He's once again an all-pro. Second down and nine. Plunkett has pressure, and he is sacked. Got it. That is only the 26th sack of the year for the Giants. They have the second fewest in the NFL to the Pittsburgh Steelers, who ironically only have 18. I think if you're wondering whether the Giants want to play in this football game, this is a very good indication. Number 75, George Martin, going around Henry Lawrence, the offensive right tackle, making the sack on Plunkett. Right now, they've taken them right out of field goal range, so Oakland is going to have to do something on third down to get back in field goal range. Third down and 15. No score with the first quarter. One turnover. Mike Davis to the Raiders, recovering a New York Giant fumble. One kick to throw. Pass is high, and it is incomplete. Going to Cliff Branch. So it will be fourth down and 15. The Raiders and the Giants have played only one other time. That was 1973, and they defeated the Giants then. That last play, that should have been a ball that should have been caught because it was in Cliff Branch's hands. It went right through. It was a little high, but that's the type of, of pass that you have to be able to catch in the National Football League. 
And you talked about the two kickers. First, we will see Ray Guy. He leads the AFC with a 44.1 yard average. He's in the Pro Bowl this year for the seventh time. And an 11 man rush to the Giants. They did not have a defender back. Now they only had 10. They have a late arrival joining them. Going for the corner, and it is out of bounds. Let's see where they mark it. They will mark it out at the 17 yard line. A kick of 22 yards. We've got a timeout, no score. We'll be back in a moment. First down at their own 17 yard line. Taking a look at the head coaches, Ray Perkins of the Giants on the left, Tom Flores, Oakland on the right. Tom really has done an outstanding job this year with the Oakland Raiders. Leon Perry. Perry gets three yards to the 20. Today's telecast is intended by authority of the National Football League, intended for the private use of our audience, and he rebroadcasts for the use of this telecast without the, the express written consent of the New York Giants and the National Football League is prohibited. Second down and seven. Then you mentioned that in the AFC, Oakland is ranked first against the rush. They are fourth in the NFL against the rush. It's rather eight, it'll be third down seven. Go ahead. It's rather ironic that they, here they are doing so well against the running game. And last week they gave up 471 yards in the air to Denver and Morton, and they have yet to put the ball in the air this afternoon. One of the reasons I think is because this young quarterback, the rookie quarterback, they want to get him stabilized a little bit before they put the ball in the air. And the Raiders rank 24th in the National Football League in pass defense. This is a passing formation slot right side. Giants have not converted that much on third down. It's only about 35 percent. Third and seven. Here's the first pass. High and wobbly. Terrible throw. Ernest Ray would have been the closest man to it. What happened? That looked like there was a kick. You know, it was going end over end out there. I have never seen a pass quite like that. But the, the men were covered. There wasn't anybody open. I think he was trying to throw it away. But that was a terrible way to do it. Now we will see Dave Jennings. He is the leading kicker in the NFL. 45.6 yard average. He'll be in the Pro Bowl. Flag is down. Ira Matthews, it bounces off of the head of a New York Giant. That was Beasley Reese, who was down covering it very quickly. And that is called as flags are dropped. Fair catch interference because you have to allow, if there is a man in the territory, the opportunity to catch the punt. If he's not there, then you can actually catch it yourself and down. You know that the Giants snapped that ball in a, in a hurry. It didn't look like that they were set for the one full second that's necessary before the snap. Flag was dropped at the line of scrimmage and the two dropped downfield. And so the officials led by Jerry Seaman, the referee, will be sorting it out. <laughs> he looked like he was a third base coach, didn't he? Either that or he's directing traffic at, uh, at an air terminal. Well, I tell you, I hope that his microphone <laughs> works for an explanation of that. He had offsides and eligible man downfield and fair catch interference. That's my guess. Charlie, you were mentioned about several possibilities in the AFC as to what uh, could take place. New Orleans is leading New England 7 0 first period. Oh. Offside 28 kicking team. Interference with the opportunity to catch the kick on number 28 on the kicking team. Offside is declined. First down, the interference is accepted. You were right about your call, Charlie, yeah. but for Beasley Reese, it was multiple choice <laughs> on him that time. It really was. We've got a timeout, and we have no score between the Giants and the Raiders. We'll be back in a moment. One in a row ball right now. They're leading seven to nothing in the first period. Oakland's ball, giant 41 yard line. Running backs Van Egan and Jensen. Bart Van Egan. He has been the workhorse for the Oakland Raiders. For the last five years, he has carried more than 200 times. He gains about two and a half. We'll mark it for three to the 38. It'll be second down and seven. Take a look at the defense. Number 75, George Martin, already has one sack. 
on the day. Linebacking core, they employ a 3-4. Number 10, Brad Van Pelt is the mainstay. He once again has made the Pro Bowl team. The rookie, number one draft choice, 36, Mark Haynes, is starting after uh, being on the bench during the middle of the season. Derek Jensen. A couple of yards to the 36. It'll be third and five. And Kervin Wyatt, the inside left linebacker for the Giants, is the man who pushed him back. You know, they, Oakland did not capitalize on the opportunity they had when they picked up that fumble on the first series by the Giants. You can see just looking at the enthusiasm that the Giants are displaying that they have come to play this afternoon. It's the last ball game of the year for them. They're completely out of the playoff picture, but they would like to dampen the hopes of the Oakland Raiders of making it to the playoffs. Third down and five. Raiders converting about 38% offsides against the Giants. It's a free down. And the pass is complete to the tight end, Raymond Chester. One of the Giant linemen in the neutral zone, I believe it was Gary Jeter, they'll refuse it. They will take the blood. That's what it was, the right defensive end. Jeter did jump before the ball was snapped. He was in that neutral zone. And you're right about the free play because... Re Number 70, defense, penalty decline. First down. Regardless of what happens, they can always come back and take that five-yard penalty. I'm sure that Jeter wanted to get a big jump because he's going around Art Shell number 78, and that is no easy chore. You're taking a look right now at number 70, Henry Lawrence, the right offensive tackle. A gain of 13 on the play on the first down, 23-yard line. Arthur Whittington, the speedster, but he is shut down by Kevin Turner. He'll lose a yard to the 24. Second down, 11. I am impressed with the giant defense. Well, I, they're playing with enthusiasm out there. And you can see that on the running plays, you're getting gang tackling, which is an indication that, that they are enthused and they want to play and they want to win this football game. They've had a disastrous season. They have had 75 men on their roster. That's unbelievable. They had 35 men on the injured reserve at one time or another. We're past the six-minute mark into the first quarter. No score. Pluck it is time. Throws. And it's dropped. Bob Chandler could not be a better bat. Well, it, hitting right in the stomach, the only thing that I can think of, because Chandler is an excellent receiver. He is sure-handed and a big play man for the Oakland Raiders. There is a sunspot on that field, and that's the direction that the ball was thrown. But... It was not thrown high, it was thrown low, as you can see right there. It hits him right in the stomach, goes right through him. For Bob Chandler, he's got 10 touchdown receptions on the air, second only to John Jefferson of, of San Diego. So Chandler is accustomed to making the big play. That time he did not. Third down and 11. He's checking off. I think they're blitzing. Here they come. Back speeding up the block. Look at Reddit. Look at it. It is incomplete. Going to Ira Matthews. Tell me about that checkoff. Well, you can see the, the defensive backs, the linebackers coming up near the line of scrimmage, time, trying to time the, the snap of the ball. And Plunkett read it. You're taking a look at Jeter, number 70, the defensive end. But here you can see a lot of the Giants coming in. The linebackers are blitzing. He doesn't have much time to get rid of the football. He just lays it up in the air. Unfortunately for the Raiders, it was not complete, but you can see uh, the safety, Wolford, number 20, on a safety blitz. Bad news for the Giants. Brad Van Pelt is out with a bruised arm. He will not return. Chandler to hold. Chris Barr for the 32. A 42-yard field goal attempt. And it barely makes it from 42 yards out. So Chris Barr opens the scoring with the field goal for the Oakland Raiders. Just over eight and a half left to go. First quarter, it's a three to nothing ball game. We have more bad news for the New York Giants. Mark Haynes, their number one draft choice, starting left cornerback, is out with a bruised knee. He will not return. So already two defensive starters are out of the ball game for the Giants. Barr kicking off. Reese feels it at the one yard line to the 10, 15. Hit and down at that point. Number 31, Derek Jensen makes the tackle. 
So he'll have 15 yards on the return. And the Giants have stripped the first quarter at their end of the field. Yes, they have. They started out very well. First two running plays, they were moving the ball on that Oakland Raider defensive unit, but unfortunately, Billy Taylor fumbled the football. But the defense of the Giants really has done, I think, a good job because they've only given up three points so far, and Oakland has had excellent field position in this football game so far. Scott Bruner, the rookie from Delaware, taken in the sixth round of the draft as the quarterback. Billy Taylor may have a yard to the 16, but that will be it as Bob Nelson, the inside linebacker on the right side, makes the tackle. Second down and nine. Billy Taylor's been the running back that uh, they've been hoping to gain the big yardage for the Giants. And he's had a couple of, of good ball games here the last few weeks. Earlier in the year, he had some injury problems. You see him taking a pitch out here, but this is just an excellent open field tackle by the Oakland Raiders. And you can see there are one, two, three, four Oakland Raider defensive men around that ball carrier. In the last two games, Taylor a total of 197 yards rushing. He gets the call again. And he breaks it to the 29-yard line. He's got the first down. Ted Hendricks makes the tackle. A gain of 14 yards on the play. And once again, they're moving. Number 83, Ted Hendricks. Now, he is long. It's a good block by the back. And look, he never quits. Hendricks never quit. A lot of linebackers would quit, but he didn't. He eventually came involved in the tackle. He made 14 yards on the play, but the reason why Ted Hendricks is having a great year is because of the great second effort that he displays on every play. Billy Taylor, five carries. He's picked up 28 yards rushing. First down, John. They trail 3 0. And it's Taylor again. But this time, Oakland is there. He'll lose a yard on the play. Randy McClanahan in the defense now. It will be second down and 11. Charlie, that time, Oakland was playing the run all the way. Those linebackers were actually up in the line of scrimmage. Now, if they had a play pass on that time, somebody would have been wide open because the linebackers were playing run first all the way. Why did the near side is Ernest Gray? Go ahead. They're going to force, I think they'll, they'll try to take away the run, force this young quarterback to put the ball in the air. He stays in the ground. Taylor, now he will have to throw. He loses two more to the 26. Now let's go to Bryant in New York. Thank you, Charlie. I want to show you a potentially serious injury. It will be third down and 13. Bruner will have to throw. Take a look at this hit by 55, Matt Millen, shooting the hole, coming in, making a good hard stop. Millen, the rookie from Penn State. It'll be Penn State, Ohio State, the Fiesta Bowl on Friday. Now Bruner to throw. As pressure slips away from the first man, second man gets him, and that is Dave Browning. First sack of the ball game for the Oakland Raiders. The giant quarterbacks have now been sacked 43 times this year. 83. Ted Hendricks is the first man in there. He gets a hold of this young quarterback right there. Ted Hendricks. He doesn't hold on. Now Browning's coming up to, to finish off the job on the quarterback sack. But I was saying Ted Hendricks is really having an outstanding year. Dave Jennings to kick it away. He has a bit of a breeze with him. But here at Giant Stadium, it is enclosed. Not that much of a factor. On the 11th block, Hendricks makes the block. Ted Hendricks blocks it. And Oakland has the football. The Raiders with a 3 0 lead will now have the football at the 11 yard line. Well, I'll tell you, Hendricks is doing everything. Here's a 32-year-old, 12-year veteran coming in. That six foot seven or six foot eight body stretched out, blocks the kick. Oakland once again getting it in excellent field position. Hendricks has caused a fumble. He created a sack. Now he has blocked a punt. And that is the first punt that Dave Jennings has had blocked this year. 11-yard line of the Giants. Raiders have the football on the lead, three to nothing. First two there. Whittington and Van Egan, the running backs are split into the passing formation. But they give to Whittington. Seven-yard line, gain of four, second down six. George Martin with a tackle. 
Reason that that's a passing formation takes the running back a long time to get to the quarterback for the handoff. Yes, it is. They're trying to grind it in right now. Let's take a look at Tom Floor. He's the head coach of the Oakland Raiders. A touchdown would be very, very big right now for the Oakland Raiders. And for the Giants in that defense that's been hampered already by losing two of its starters, Haynes and Van Pelt, it would be a big plus for them if they could hold them and only give up three points. Kevin Turner and Don Patterson have replaced Van Pelt and Haynes. He'll get in. He's got it. For Arthur Whittington, that is his fourth touchdown of the year. And the Raiders very quickly are out in front. Nine to nothing. 427 left to go first quarter. The Giants have not been out of there into the field. I think you can thank Ted Hendricks for the nine points so far, at least for that last one, because he blocked that punt, gave them the football in excellent field position. And here it is. He was going inside. It's clogged up here. You see he's moved to the outside. Now it is a foot race. And Arthur Whittington is going to win that foot race, getting just into the corner of the end zone for six points. He should be carrying the ball in the other arm, though, away from the pressure. Chris Byer to attempt the point after. It is good. The score, the Oakland Raiders 10, the New York Giants, nothing, 4.27 left to go. We're in the first quarter. We'll be back with a kickoff. Brian, we've got a 10-0 score here, but here are the favorites. The Oakland Raiders are out in front. You did say there was 100 and some possibilities. 113 variables, and that's one of them. Bar kicking off with Reese the deep back. Takes it at the four-yard line to the 20 and returns to about the 24, maybe the 25. We'll give him 20 yards on the return as Otis McKinney makes the tackle. So New York will try one more time to get out of their end of the field. And New York has created a lot of problems for themselves. They fumbled the football, and they had a punt block, giving Oakland excellent field position. Once again, the Giants are in a position where they've got to go a long way to score some points. 24-yard line. They have been going primarily with Billy Taylor on the ground. Scott Bruder sparingly with the pass. He's going to have to throw it now. As protection fires this one, and it's complete. And he has a first down. He goes to Danny Pittman, the rookie from Wyoming. They'll mark it 35 yard line. He has 11 in the first down. Well, they're going to have to throw the football. In the last series, Oakland just took the running game away from the, the Giants because they were moving their linebackers up almost in a position where the defensive linemen were lined up. Mark it for a gain of 10. That was Scott Bruner's first completion of the afternoon. Ernest Gray comes in motion. Billy Taylor. Taylor to the 37-yard line, has three. It will be second down and seven. Three and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. And right now, enjoying a 10-point lead, the Oakland Raiders. For the New York Giants, the young quarterback has just completed one pass. He's going to have to put that football in the air if they're going to hope to win this game against the Oakland Raiders. They're not going to do it grinding it out on the ground against Oakland because Oakland eventually is going to shut that off. They've got a good defensive unit against the running game. And Billy Taylor already has carried the ball eight times. He's picked up 28 yards rushing. Second and seven. Bruner completes to the tight end, Gary Shirk. There's a fumble at the end of the play, and the Oakland Raiders have the football. That is the second turnover by the Giants as Rod Martin comes up with it. Two turnovers plus the block punt. Well, that time they had a blitz on the Oakland Raiders, the linebackers coming. Number 55, Matt Miller, right here is blitzing. And the quarterback saw the blitz, and he dumped it off to his tight end, which he's supposed to do. But he really got nailed as soon as he caught that football. Another turnover by the New York Giants. Oakland in excellent field position once again. The ball at the New York 41-yard line, first down. Three times in the first quarter alone, it was the guy well, turned that ball over to, to the Oakland Raiders. Two fumble recoveries and a block run. Mark Van Egan. Van Egan goes to the 33. It 
it'll be second down and a couple. Let's check the scoreboard. Well, they're a very important game for the Browns. Cincinnati leading three to nothing in the first quarter. Another important game for Houston. Minnesota leading six to three. That's in the first quarter. And how about this one? New Orleans ten, New England nothing. First quarter. the only ball game of the early ball games in which the favorite is leading right That's now right. in the first quarter. Did you notice Van Egan? He wasn't going to give up that football. He had both arms wrapped around that football, making sure that they couldn't pry that ball loose. A gain of six yards. Let's watch Mark Van Egan. Number 30, Van Egan's carried the ball over 200 times, five years in a row. Look at both arms around that football. He's not going to give up that ball. Not going to turn it over to the Giants. Van Egan, 17 yards in four carries. First down at the New York 27. Play pass. Got him open. Incomplete Bob Chandler. This one was a little high, but I believe you're right what you said earlier. Chandler's having a problem with the sun, that particular part of the field. Well, you can take a look on the field down there. You can see right there the top part of your screen is a lot lighter, and that's because of the sun there. But that ball did take off on Plunkett, and that has been Plunkett's problem here in the last few ball games, that his passes have been sailing on him, which means that he's not getting a good tight release when he's getting rid of that football. Plunkett is a one for five for 13 yards so far in this first quarter. Second down and 10, Giants 27-yard line. Plunkett to throw. Both backs in the block. to the tight end. Beasley reads an excellent coverage on it. But it was not a good throw, Charlie. That ball was thrown behind Raymond Chester. He never had an opportunity to come up with a catch. Now, it is cold. The temperature about 20 degrees. Does this affect your throwing? Well, it, it's not that bad out there. The only thing that really affects your, your throwing is the wind conditions. And I'm looking at the flags out here, and the wind doesn't appear to be that bad on the field. Ira Matthews and Mark Van Egan will now be the running back. It'll be third down and 10. We look for Plunkett to throw again. I guess that answers your question whether it's cold here or not, Charlie, looking at the fans in the stands. Never bothered you, though, <laughs> did it, right? When you're hot, you're hot. Blitz. They pick it up. Both back in. And then Mike Whittington has the sack. That is the second sack of the ball. the 46th time this year that an Oakland Raider quarterback has been sacked. That's poor protection. You can take a look at him. They're coming at the Steve Henry, a defensive back. He is safety blitzing. He doesn't get in, but he's going after them. But you can look right there. There are four New York Giant defensive players around Plunkett, the quarterback. I think they've determined this time there. Plunkett does take some time for his patterns to develop. They're not going to give him that time. If he's going to complete any passes, he's going to have to get rid of it in a hurry. An attempt of 52 yards. Barr is yet to hit from over 50. 48 is his longest, and this one is 48 yards. He comes up short. He was four yards short. I wonder if they would have back to the line of scrimmage, which was the 34-yard line, where the New York Giants will take over. And that's probably the best field position they've had to start a drive. Yeah, I'm surprised that really that Oakland took that chance. I don't think if they'd have Hadn't been ahead 10 to nothing, they would have kicked that field goal. Next Sunday on NBC Sports is the AFC wild card playoff game. As you know, five will make it, but there's still seven in the running, and two of the five will be in the wild card game. And this year, that wild card game, very special in the AFC, because all the teams are so equal. Play action. Talking about the, the weather out here, I, it doesn't appear that that should be any big factor in the ball game. But there have been about three passes dropped in the first quarter. That pass should have been caught. The standings: Oakland misspell, but they have the lead in it. I think. But again, in case you joined us late, and we hope you didn't, because you had a great explanation of everything that was going to take place, and it's hard to really <laughs> figure it out. 
But basically, for the Oakland Raiders, if they win today and they lead to another, they are in the playoffs. Second down is Jim Giants, throw 34. Lots of time. Oh, they will call it an incomplete pass. What's wrong with it? That ball is probably like glass because of the cool weather out there. The ball is exposed, and it's like glass because he started his motion forward. Look at here. He's starting his motion forward. The ball just slips completely out of his hand. Now, that is embarrassing, Charlie. Did you I, ever have that happen yes, to you? Yes, <laughs> I had it happen to me once when I started my motion forward, and I thought I was throwing downfield. It ended up a defensive end intercepted and ran for a touchdown. Oh, no. But here it is. The ball is cold. It's like glass. It slipped right out of Scott's hand. This is only the rookie's third start, and it is third down and 10. It's not going to do anything for his confidence, either. anyway because the Giants get the ball back. There's some strange things that are happening out there with that football. There really are. And this carries with it automatic first down. Is this Halloween? Face pass number 73 defense prior to the pass being intercepted. First down. Face pass ball on Dave Browning. And it's a first down for New York on their own 39-yard line. First penalty against Oakland. Larry Eater and Leon Perry are now the running backs for the Giants. Leon Perry, 43-yard line. He has four. It'll be second and six as Matt Mellon makes the tackle. Good block that time by the right tackle, number 72, Gordon King, pulling out from his tackle position, making a good block on Lester Hayes, the, the, the cornerback. 12 seconds and counting. That is the time remaining in the first quarter. And the New York Giants have not been to the 50-yard line. And they're just going to wait and try to do it in the second quarter. That is the end of the first quarter. Raiders lead it 10 to nothing. This is Charlie Jones and Lynn Dawson. Let's go back to the football. Well, a day like today when it's cold, it's not like baseball. You know, in baseball, the, the, the officials will rub that ball down so that uh, it isn't brand new. That ball, right, you can take a look. See how shiny it is? That ball is slick. I know I've had a lot of problems myself in the past with holding on to it. Larry here. Joy for the first time. A gain of 14 yards on the play as Mike Walter Davis and Burgess Owens Walter make the tackle. Just inside the open 47-yard line. Take a look at the statistics in the first quarter. Possession 850 for the Giants, 610 for the Raiders, but the Raiders have been down in the Giant territory the entire first quarter. Really not much in total offense by either either ball club. The Raiders simply did not have that far to go. Bruner to throw. Has pressure. Heads for the sideline. Didn't even bother to get to the sideline. He's learning in his third start, isn't he? That's, yeah, but he keep, kept his head up when he did the slide. Better get his head down. He had the heat on him. Oakland does a good job of rushing and putting pressure on the quarterback. Here, take a look. 83, Hedrick. 72 is Big John Matuzak. Big Ted is in there first. It's really difficult for a back to block him. He flushes the, the quarterback out of the pocket. Now he goes into his slide routine, but he's exposing his head. 
Oakland doesn't always stop just be, just because you hit the turf, Charlie. I found that out the hard way. Second and 13, a loss of three. Put it a throw. Pass is complete. Larry Heater. Heater to the 42-yard line. He gets eight yards back. It'll be third down and still five to go for the first down. Rod Martin and Bob Nelson make the tackle for the Oakland Raiders. That was a safe pass for this young quarterback. He was reading the linebacker. Just whatever linebacker, whichever way he went, he went the opposite way to his back. The Oakland Raiders, the only team in the National Football League history to have 16 straight winning seasons. That is a most impressive statistic. And you can recall the first four years that the Raiders were in existence. They were terrible. Pass complete to Larry Heater. Right at the first down marker. Let's see where they spot it. Oh, it's going to be about a half yard shot. I gamble. Go for it. You've got nothing to lose. Nice. Absolutely. You're down 10 to nothing. And the biggest thing that you can do this afternoon if you're a New York Giant player is upset the Oakland Raiders. The only way to do that is take some chances, and they're going to. George Martin comes in, and Tom Mullody comes in. Now, that is a blocking formation, short yardage for the offense. Well, a situation like this, you have about a foot to go. You're going to put those three big tight ends in the ball game, get the, the blocking. Should give the ball to the back, but it just bangs straight ahead. If you've got a defensive end, George Martin is a tight end on the right side. Quarterback's think leading. He may not get it. Boy, this will be close. And somebody took a swipe at his head. Okay. The one problem with the quarterback running the quarterback sneak, if it's a foot, it's not a bad call. If it's a yard, I don't think it's that good a call because you really can't generate any speed or momentum when you take the ball from the center. If a man's in the backfield, he's got a three or four yard run to get to the line of scrimmage and he can leap over for that yardage. But you've always told me in that situation, Go with your That's big right. man. Go with us. Go with your strongest runner. They'll bring the chains out for the measurement. I think I'll concede it. I think it'll be first down. 12 one time remaining in the first half. Oakland scoring on a 42-yard field goal by Chris Barr. And Arthur Whittington scooting in from seven yards out. It is. First down. It's not by how much, it's did you make it. The Giants still have the football. They made it barely. First down, Oakland 36. Stop it. He exploded out of that backfield. And that's the best way to go against that 34 defense because there are a lot of stunts that are played out there between the linebacker and the defensive lineman. You just go straight at him. If you can break that seam, a good back is in the secondary. Look at that good, strong running by Leon Perry. Four carries, 24 yards. Statistics can be deceiving. The Giants have seven first downs. The Raiders, three. Uh-oh. Winners in trouble. He'll sack at the 30-yard line. We had both backs going opposite directions on a pitch out, but I do believe that, that Leon Perry should have been going to his left and not to his right. That's a, that's a strange feeling to turn around, Charlie, and go to pitch the ball out, and there's no one to pitch it to. He gets lonely in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, Loss of five, say, second to do. If I wanted the ball, I'd have called my own number. I don't want it. But he's young and strong. 6'5", 200 pounds. Division two player of the year last year. Young quarterback is telegraphing who he's throwing that football to. He's just follow. He followed that tight end all the way. When you do that, that's going to tell the defensive backs where you're going to throw the ball, and you're going to get a crowd around there. 
Now they are already within the field goal range of Joe Danello, whose long is 57 yards. Ritter now 50 percent, four of eight for 31 yards. They're down 50. Peter in motion. Looping it into the corner, incomplete and almost intercepted. Ernest Gray, the intended receiver, and Lester Hayes had perfect position. Yes, Lester Hayes leads the National Football League with 12 interceptions. He's going up top. You can take a look at the top of your screen. 37 in the black, Lester Hayes. 83 is Ernest Gray. The ball is up in the air, and that son, I think, got to Lester Hayes because it looked like he really couldn't locate that football, Charlie, because that is the sunspot area over there. And the NFL record for interceptions held by Dick Night Train Lane is 14. Hayes, by the way, has had three call back to the penalty. Here's Danello, 37-yard line, a 47-yard attempt, well within his way. Got the leg. He's got it, 47 yards out. So with 10 minutes and 26 seconds left to go in the first half. Joe Danello converts from 47 yards away. Joe Danello has now hit 11 of his last 12 field goal attempts and 13 of his last 50. You know, you don't have to be large. I guess it's like golf to be a very successful. He's only 5'9 and 165 pounds. And he kicks off. It is high and short. And taking it at the 15-yard line is Keith Moody. Moody to the 20 is five yards on the return. Myron Lapka makes the tackle. So Oakland now with their worst field position of the game. They're on 20-yard line. The defense didn't turn the ball over to the Oakland Raiders. Now they're going to have to move the football almost 80 yards to, to get into the end zone. And Plunkett is not off to an auspicious start. Only one of six for 13 yards. And a couple. Well, there's one pass that was dropped. Chandler did drop one that should have been caught. But there's a couple of that have sailed on it. Second quarter, 10-16 left to go in the half. Raiders lead by seven. Luck at the throw. This one is right there to Bob Chandler. And Chandler is out of bounds at the 32-yard line. He's got the first down. Don Patterson, who's replaced Mark Hayes, who's out with a bruised knee at left corner, is the man who got it. And that's the man that they should work on. 85, Bob Chandler, making his, I believe, his first reception, Charlie. He did drop one earlier. This is just a little hitch pattern. You go down about six yards, turn with the quarterback, make the catch. Doesn't look like much, but it ends up a first down. And they're working on that young quarterback, number 21, Don Patterson. Bob Chandler and Ernest Gray of the Giants both with 10 touchdown receptions. Van Ega. First down. 46 yard line. He gains 14 on the flood. Doesn't surprise anybody, I don't believe, to, to be moving to the left side of the Oakland offensive line, number 78 Art Shell, Gene Upshaw on that side. You can see right there. Good hole for Van Egan to go through. Right 88 is Casper. Chester coming down and uh, making a block. Casper's no longer there. He's in Houston. <laughs> Let's mark it the 45-yard line. Luck it far side. Pull down the frack. Boy, the Raiders moving that offense very quickly and very efficiently. That time he went over to that uh, side of the field where the sun is hitting it. But it wasn't a problem because he wasn't looking into the sun. And a little while later, I think that will all be gone. There won't be any problem being able to locate the football because of the sun. Second down, about a yard and a half to go for the first down. Take a look at the top part of your screen is what I'm talking about. Clint Francis out there in the sun. Whittington. Whittington picks up the first down. Let's go to Brian Gumbel. We'll get an update on everything else that's going on in the NFL. Brian? Thank you, Charlie. Come back, Trail. I think how cha things change in a hurry. They do, don't they? Giant 44-yard line, first down. Francis Beaster in motion. Play action. Pressure screen. Incomplete to Van Egan. Van 
he was getting pressure from Gary Jeter. Gary Jeter was running around Big Art Shell, number 78, put the heat on. That was a screen pass. Plunkett did not want to have to get rid of that football as quickly as he did, but it was a good job by that man right there, number 70, Gary Jeter. And a flag dropped at the 42-yard line. It is against the Oakland Raiders. He went right by Art Shell. I believe an ineligible receiver downfield was a preliminary signal. Eight minutes and 28 seconds left to go, second quarter. Raiders scoring their 10 points in the first quarter. Their Giants, their three on Danello's 47 yard field goal in the second quarter. Ineligible downfield, number 50 on the offense. That's the center, Dave Dalby. Indicates it's a screen pass, Charlie, because the center is always involved in blocking on the screen. In penalties, the Giants, one for five yards, Raiders two for 25. And it's first down and 20 at the open 46-yard line. Whittington, just across the 50. Giants claim a fumble. Mitchell say the play had been blown dead. Call it the New York 49 and give him five. It'll be second down and 15. Whittington now in five carries has 19 yards and a touchdown his fourth of the year. Cliff Branch goes wide to the far side. Chandler wide to the near side. Just to the tight end in motion. Flag is down. They did not have enough men on the line of scrimmage. Van Eka catches the pass at the 45. But you have to have seven men on the line of scrimmage. I believe they were one short if I counted right. They had Chester in, in motion that time. I got a lot more of that. Wide receivers were playing, too. Let's see. Well, like I said, it looks like the Giants were offside. That's right. They had too many men across the line of scrimmage. <laughs> a lot of times when the man is in motion, if he is not going parallel to the line of scrimmage or backwards, they hedge a little bit just as the ball is snapped to go forward. That is illegal. They'll take the penalty. They gain about four. The penalty's five, and they get the down over. Everybody knows that. Gene Upshaw says, yeah, take the penalty. For Gene Upshaw, this marks the 202nd consecutive game that he has started. Here's the call. Encroachment. Lining up offside. Number 70 on the defense. Jeter thought he did such a good job the time before that he just edged his way up there again. You know, you talked about Upshaw. This is a 200 what second? 200 second start. Well, I know he started out. It was against the Kansas City Chiefs where it all started for him. You know, in a preseason game. We beat him something like 49 to nothing. My, how things have changed. You remember those numbers, don't you? All right. Look it. All day. Boy, is time. Pass is complete. Bob Chandler steps out. First down. Chandler knew exactly where he was in relationship to the first down marker. At that time, the sun was not in Bob Chandler's eyes. As you can see, he's out on the right flank. Monk is going to have all day to throw this football. Chandler is a wise receiver. He knows that his quarterback is in trouble. Now he sees it. He's going to go to the open spot. And he knows exactly, as you say, where he is because he makes the reception, gets both feet down inbound. Chandler, two receptions, 23 yards today. He averaged 23 yards a catch last week. First down at the Giants, 33. Van Egan. And Mark will get a yard on the play. It'll be second and nine. Irvin Wyatt makes the tackle. Derek Jensen and Mark Van Egan are now the running back. In addition to this drive for the Raiders, which started at the 20-yard line, using up a lot of time on the clock. Well, that's to the Raiders' advantage. Even if they don't get any points, 
the ball is going to be down on this end of the, uh, the field, and the Giants have got a long way to go to get any points. And also that means that the Giant offense on a cold day has been standing on the sideline. Second and nine. Very young quarterback. Gibson in motion. Plunk it to throw. Please. He overthrows his tight end, Raymond Chester. Now let's go to Brian Gumbel in New York. We'll have an update of everything that's happening in the NFL in the playoff race. Okay, Charlie, as the race pertains to the Cleveland Browns, it's not going well. This is Jack Thompson of the Bengals scampering in from 13 yards out. That gives the Bengals a 10-0 lead in the second period. Should the Browns lose, the Oilers would be champions of the AFC Central no matter what happens. Charlie? And, Lynn, I, I wonder if that last second catch of Ahmad Rashad last week that we saw is still on the minds of the Cleveland Browns. Well, that really hurt their their chances because they could have wrapped it up a week ago. Third down and nine. The Raiders have converted only one of four. Third down opportunity. Both backs in the block. Three receivers out deep. He's open. It's there. Passes to play. will be a touchdown. Into the end zone is Cliff Brad. He was all alone. Seventh touchdown of the year for Brad. Way covering 31 yards officially. Plunkett had been throwing some balls that were taking off on him. This time he drilled it to a branch going up the left sidelines. The heat is coming on. Didn't take a whole lot of time to get rid of that football, but wide open is Cliff Branch. Somebody had to have a mix-up back there in the secondary for the New York Giants. Because you don't let a man get that wide open. So the Raiders pad their lead. It goes to 16-3. to Extra point upcoming. Chandler to hold and Chris Barr to again. It is good. It is now the Oakland Raiders 17. The New York Giants 3 with 629 left to go in the first half. 79-yard drive in nine plays. Chris Byer will be kicking off. Beasley Reese is the deep back on the return. Field at the six-yard line. Yard line, a return of 31 yards. Rich Martini makes the tackle as we pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Advice for would-be dieters on Fight Back, 7:30 Monday night on KNBC Los Angeles. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson, the Oakland Raiders, the New York Giants. 6:18, time remaining in the first half. The Raiders lead by 14 points. Giants go to work on their own 37-yard line. Quarterback is the rookie Scott Bruner. Billy Taylor gets the call. And he is decked as he goes out of bounds by Mike Davis. He looked like he was going into orbit. He really got nailed on the sidelines by Davis. 38, Billy Taylor going to the right side. He's going to leave his feet here, which is going to be a mistake because the timing is going to be excellent by Taylor, the safety, right there. That was Taylor's ninth carry, is 33 yards rushing. It is second down and four. Danny Pittman goes wide to the far side, Ernest Gray wide to the near side. Second back is Taylor. Close to the first down, I believe he's got it. They will mark it a gain of five. To the 48, it is a first down. Thus far, Billy Taylor has been the most effective offensive weapon for the Giants. He's a good runner, Charlie. Big enough and strong enough. Without the holes out there, without the offensive linemen to open up a few cavities out there, it's very difficult to run. All right, Minnesota leading Houston 13 to 3 in the second quarter.
was not in his eyes this time. Number 37, Lester Hayes. Danny Pittman was going up top, and he let him go. The ball hits Lester Hayes right in the stomach. It looked like that the quarterback was going for 38, Billy, uh, Billy Taylor, but it was a poorly thrown football. Lester Hayes almost takes this all the way back. You can see that Davis is encouraging him to come on. Quarterback gets involved in the play. 82 is Danny Pittman finally bringing him down. 44-yard return by Lester Hayes. He now has 13, Charlie, and I think that's one away from the NFL record. Height frame lane set the record of 14. 19-yard line of the Giants first down. Van Egan and Jensen, the two running backs, and Van Egan gets the call. He has five yards to the 14-yard line. Turner makes the tackle. Now let's join Brian Gumbel. Okay, Charlie. Thank you, Brian. That is good news. Second and five at the 14-yard line. Jensen. And Derek has a yard. It'll be third down and four. Derek Jensen is in his second year. He was a third-round draft choice in 78. Really hasn't carried that much. 24 yards rushing and 87 yards receiving coming into the game. Legion ball, University of Texas, Arlington Capital. Midway between Dallas and Fort Worth. And he's coming out of the ball game now. Third down and four. Replaced by Ira Matthews. Third and four generally is a passing uh, situation. Both backs in the block. Bucket tied. Holding will be called. The pass, I believe Bucket really was throwing yeah, it Yeah, he was. Chandler, I don't understand it because he had Matthews wide open in the left flat. And he had a flag in the left flat, but he also had a holding flag. No. Go ahead. But he had two men open, and he decided to get rid of the football. And he didn't see him, evidently, or he'd have thrown the football to the guy that was open. But he didn't want to take a chance of a loss there. He just threw it out of the end zone. But the Raiders are moving back. It would have been fourth and four if the penalty is refused at third down 14. And they are still in field goal range. Yes. A little more difficult. Holding number 71 on the offense. Holding on Lindsey Mason, who has replaced Art Shell. Shell is. Right now, in the locker room being x-rayed has a problem with his little finger. As big as he is, <laughs> the little finger should be on heart. You know it hurts so. <laughs> oh, you know it hurts. 23-yard line, third down, 14. Oakland has converted only one of six third down. Screen left side, Whittington. 20-yard line. He gains only three on the flood. And it will be fourth down. And Chris Byer will come in with his second field goal attempt. He's hit from 42 yards away. That back cut to the inside. Upshaw and Dalby both had good blocks out there for the Oakland Raiders. But the back uh, elected to go to the inside where all the traffic was. He'll be kicking from about the 27-yard line. So it will be an attempt of 37 yards. Bob Chandler will be holding. Don't move it back a yard. Get to 38 yards. Chris Byers' longest this year is 48 yards. He's been in a bit of a slump. Four of 11 coming into this ball game, but now he is two for two, a 42 and 38 yards. And the Oakland Raiders now lead the New York Giants by a score of 20 to three. That's in 52 seconds left to go in the first half. Raiders on top by 17. And remember, a win here, they are assured of being in the playoff. Their future tied to that game tomorrow night between Pittsburgh and San Diego. Terrible kick. And a scramble for it at the 33-yard line. Did Barr miss it, or was he just trying to... He was trying to there? kick it that way. Two minutes and 52 seconds remaining in the ball game. He didn't want to kick it deep. And it almost turned out in Oakland's favor because they had men down there around that football. They didn't get it. They came very close to getting it. What's Bruner done so far? Four for 10 for 31 yards and an interception. That was a big interception. 
Lester Hayes is 13th of the season, running about 44 yards. I think his confidence is really shaky out there right now. Sir. Giants from their own 32-yard line. Billy Taylor. Couple of yards. It'll be second down and eight. Now Bruner on the year. Of course, he hasn't played that much, but has only been hitting 44% of his passes. Well, you know, when he dropped that football back in the first quarter, I believe, look at there. New England now is on top of New Orleans 17 to 10. When he dropped that football, that does a lot to shake your confidence. And then that interception didn't help either. is Leon Perry. 36 yard line. It'll be third down and around six. Now, Bruner is not calling his own play, but the play selection is not very creative. Well, it isn't because they're fearful of what he's going to do out there. He hasn't had much success. I think they're fearful that he could be completely destroyed if he doesn't get something going. Two minute warning. We'll be back in a moment. Are you How cold is it? They'll give you an idea. Two-minute warning. Some people have said, why, the, why is it called a two-minute warning? I don't understand. Both benches are warned of rule changes that take place in the last two minutes of each half. The one that you notice more than anything else is that on a kickoff in the last two minutes of each half, the clock does not start until the ball has been touched in the field of play. There are a couple of other ones. You cannot buy the extra time out for an injury and a couple of other ones. That's the one that you notice, though. That's the reason it's called a two-minute warning. Third down and set. Oakland is going to warn this quarterback. They may go after him. Pass is complete. That's only the second time the Giants have converted on a third down, and there's a flag on a play. Now, that was a good throw by that young quarterback because he stepped and fired that ball and hit his receivers right in the numbers. The only one around there was a the receiver against Oakland. The play will stand since it was passed. Number 23 on the defense. Penalty declined. First down. First down at the Oakland 49 yard line. With the penalty, with the flag. The clock is stopped. 151 left to go in the first half. So let's see if the Giants can get something going here. It would be a big lift going in the locker room. Oh, it, it really would. I think Oakland may go out and try to blitz his young quarterback. Try to destroy his confidence. No they blitz. Come with three men. He's got time. Pass is complete. Out of the backfield is Leon Perry. And a flag is dropped. 41 yard line face mask we believe will be the call. Well you can tell that this young back is tough because he was really nailed by Nelson and did not come down. Bruner the quarterback going back looking three man rush plenty of time for him his vision is good nobody in front of him. There was no makes, infraction. Makes a good hit. See, there was a great hit there by Nelson 51 but it did not go down. The officials now say no infraction. Gain of eight, it'll be second down and two. And the Giants take a timeout. They will have two remaining. We thought we caught a face mask. No, I, you know, he may be underneath. You can, you can hook the shoulder pads right underneath the chin, and it looks like a face mask. He's trying to choke him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a choking call. We've got a timeout. And we'll be back with 138 left to go in the first half. One thirty-eight left to go in the first half. Lovely Giants fan. The ball at the Oakland 41 yard line. New York two timeouts remaining. And that's the magic number it is second down and two. Plenty of time. The Giants have plenty of time to get on the board. 138 remaining in this half. Bo Matthews goes in motion. Two tight in offense. Pass is complete to Matthews. 
And he was alone on the far side. First down inside the 29-yard line, steps out, stops the clock, gain of 13. Well, he was alone because the quarterback had all day to look back there. He pumped the ball, and when that happened, the defense relaxed a little bit, and they forgot about Matthews out on the sideline. They were just giving him a lot of room in front. Good play by this young quarterback coming back to Matthews on the sideline. Giants started this drive on their own 32-yard line. And they are within field goal range of Danello. So they've got some room to play with here. 129 on the clock. First down. This one is dropped out to Billy Taylor. And Taylor is dropped after a gain of a yard, but a flag goes down at the 40. It will be roughing the passer, and that will cost the Raiders, and it will carry with it the automatic first down. Yeah, number 73, Dave Browning, the defensive end, is really arguing with the officials, and he better stay away from the men in the, the striped shirts because he does not want to touch them. So the Giants get a break here now with 120 left to go. Oakland four penalties, 40 yards, the Giants two for 20. And more importantly, too, or one of the important thing is, it stopped the clock, did not charge the Giants with the timeout. There's 120 Personal remaining foul. and a half. Roughing the passer, number 73, defense, first down. Dave Browning, first down at the 14-yard line. That carries 15 yards. Play could, goes wide to the far side, Pittman near side. They can do most anything with two timeouts remaining right now at 120. They can run or pass. They don't have to be concerned about the clock right now. Leon Perry, three yards to the 11. It'll be second down and seven. They ought to do something, though. 110 and counting. Clock continues to move. Giants not very quick coming back to the huddle. Well, I don't understand that. You either have two plays called because they had a timeout. That's less than one minute to go. The timeout, or the time really wasn't critical with 120 to go. But it's starting to get pretty. Now here they're going to call timeout. There was one. They lost, they lost 20 seconds. There was 120 remaining before that play started. There's now 50 seconds uh, on the clock. A giant mistake. We'll be back in a moment. The preceding announcement was furnished as a public service for the National Football League. Second down and seven at the 11-yard line. Two receivers coming to the near side, so Lester Hayes changes sides to join him. Hayes with 13 interceptions of the year. In the corner, there, touchdown, Leon Perry. Perry, second touchdown. Touchdown pass and the Giants first touchdown of the ball game. That was an excellent throw by this young quarterback because he drilled it in there. Bear in mind, number 83, Ted Hendricks is out in that area. He's six feet seven inches tall. Gets up in the air just over his outstretched arms. Into the fullback's uh, hands for a touchdown. That's a really a big score for the Giants. A 68 yard drive in eight plays. 45 seconds left to go in the half. Extra point is good. It is now Oakland 20 and the New York Giants 10. And that's a big lift emotionally. Oh, it surely is. Particularly with that young quarterback who's had some problems in the first half. Dropped the ball on one occasion. Threw a terrible pass that was intercepted by Lester Hayes. But they now have 10 points on the board. And they can win it at halftime and build from that. They got something to build on. They say, hey, we did move the ball on this football team. We can score. An 11-yard touchdown pass. Bruner now has completed 9 of 15 for 77 yards. One touchdown pass and an interception. Next Sunday on NBC Sports, it's the AFC Wild Card Playoff game. Seven teams still have a chance to make it, but two will fall by the wayside. Five will be in the playoffs of the AFC. And two will be wild cards. NBC Sports will be there to cover the action. Join NFL 80 and host Brian Gumbel for an inside look at the game. And then sit back and enjoy the Conference of Champions, the American Football Conference. 
as NBC Sports carries you all the way to the Super Bowl on January the 25th in New Orleans. Onside's kick? I don't think that they will. I think they'll kick it deep. All right, Matthews is all alone. Deep. Oakland oh, just isn't taking a chance. That's all. Oh, he's just trying to punch it over the first line. Yeah, get that clock going. Keith Booty picks it up at the 30. He's to the 35. Out of the 40-yard line. The clock will now stop on the change of possession. But you're right. Touch to the field of play, that's when the clock starts on a kickoff. Look where they are. They're at the 40-yard line. I wouldn't do that. I would have kicked it deep because there was, only, there was no wedge back there, so the, re the receiver, the return man, was not going to get any help when he made the catch because they had all the hands people up here, people who are accustomed to handling the footballs, and they aren't the blockers. I'd have kicked that thing deep because he really wasn't trying an onside kick. All going at their own 40-yard line. Plunkett has completed 5 of 12. Touchdown pass to Griff Branch, and the Raiders have three timeouts remaining. 37 seconds. Set to go in the half. Pass complete out of bounds. Bob Chandler stops the clock. Just inside the New York 47, 8 of 13. And Plunkett is very slow getting up. Take a look. Gary, Gary Jeter was very slow getting up, too. Take a look at Bob Chandler. They're giving him a lot of room out there. Good throw by Plunkett. He was open. Also, Cliff Branch was open on that last play. Plunkett wants a timeout. He's hurting. He is hurting. He started to limp to the sideline. Then realized the clock had been stopped because Chandler stepped out of bounds. He took the timeout. He now has two remaining. I am so happy for this man. Yes, and he's, he's he really is one of the, man. He's one of the really class people of the world. Heisman Trophy winner at Stanford, and he had the, the great years early, and then, you know, he is, he has been to the penthouse and has spent some time <laughs> in the basement. Well, you know, when he's he was, on the elevator going back up. He was with uh, New England with the Patriots. They didn't have a very good football team, and he used to get beat up quite frequently. And yep. I can recall he had a, a shoulder problem, and then they put him back in. I think one of the first times they put him back in, they had an option that he was down the line of scrimmage. I forget who was the coach, and they nailed him, and he was out again. He's, he went through a lot of pain. Now, here is Mark Wilson out of Brigham Young, and uh, that, that school produces some outstanding quarterbacks. They have got <laughs> another one, a junior. Did you see the Holiday Bowl on Friday night? Young Jim McMahon. 31 seconds. Boy, that holiday ball is exciting in San Diego. Bucket was throwing, remember? To Randy Vitaha. He was one of the seven dwarfs in this thing. Like that was before my time, uh, Charlie. But I remember <laughs> all of those. Yes, I do remember. Mark Wilson has completed only one of two passes this year. He's thrown only twice. This is third pass of the year. Got and it's on target. Good defensive play, keeping Chandler inbound. Oaken will take the timeout. That is not a bad pass. It's cold hey, and silent. He, <laughs> he warmed up for what, about 38 seconds? It came right in. Harry Coyle, our, our director, has been giving us shots of how cold it is around here, and that young. Mark Wilson's been standing on the sidelines, and you don't get warm standing down there. That time he threw a good pass to the sidelines to Bob Chandler, who does that exceptionally well. They're really giving Chandler a lot of room on the sidelines. That really helps the confidence of this young quarterback. Here he is, number six, Mark Wilson, going back. I believe you said it's his third throw of the year. Right. First pass of the game, 12 yards, first down. Not too Gi shabby. Giants did a good job of keeping him bounds, of making him use one of their timeouts. Now the first down, they're in field goal range. And they have one timeout remaining. 23 seconds. There it is. Oakland needs to win. They win. They don't have to worry about any other game. They can do it themselves. They will be in the playoffs at home, whether they be the wild card team or the division champions. San Diego, of course, they host Pittsburgh. They're watching this ball game. They cheered for Denver last week. They're cheering for the Giants today. You better get rid of it. Good scramble. Now go out of bounds. Does stop the clock. 14 seconds. You're right, though. He should have thrown it away earlier. He, he lost five or six seconds. 
precious right, seconds. Right now, it's important because you're looking at 14 seconds with one timeout remaining. Now, if they run this play and they're not out of bounds, they have to call timeout. And if they don't have enough to get their field goal kicker in range, then they're they're in trouble. Let's see. They're at the 31-yard line. He'd be kicked for the 38. That's about 48 yards away. Chris Barr's longest of the year is 48. Remember, he tried the one earlier from uh, 52, and he was four yards short. The Giants defensive backs are giving a lot of room, so they should be able to throw it front. Pressure, good scramble, pass is front. That was a, it wasn't that good a pass. It was catchable, but it was a good scramble by the youngster. Cliff Branch has dropped a couple of them today, and that's not like him because that ball was there. There's eight seconds remaining in this first half. It wasn't a, a picture pass, but he was he was scrambling, trying to, to move around and survive back there. He did get the ball to him. Ira Matthews comes in, Whittington comes out. That's the play for the bench. Third down and seven, eight seconds. Time for one more play if they don't have the first down, or if they do, go to the field goal. One ten. more play is it. And they've got a kick. up as he crossed the sideline there was one second but the clock was moving and it just ticked over that is the end of the first half with the score the Oakland Raiders 20 and the New York Giants 10.